Welcome to Career Journeys, a series of videos by the Consortium for Public Education. Here we explore the career experiences and pathways of professionals from a wide variety of careers to help you think about the skills you'll need and the paths you might take after high school. Hi, I'm Debbie Pixton with the Consortium for Public Education. Today I'm interviewing Darcel Madkins, who works in finance at the PNC Financial Services Group. Thank you so much for joining us, Darcel. Thank you for having me. So Darcel, tell me about PNC and your role there. What do you do in the finance division? I am in the finance department where I work with third party vendors. I'm responsible to making sure that our third party vendors are in compliance with PNC Bank. And I also um, work very closely with our diversity and inclusion department where we do work with our EBRGs, which is considered employee business resource groups. And we do a lot of sponsorship in the community as well as internal professional development. How did you end up at PNC, Darcel? Can you tell us a little bit about your career path from high school? Yes, um, I went to Point Park College. While um, after I left there, I ended up going to BNY Mellon. At the time, it was Mellon Bank, and I did um, worked in special investments. And I got a call to come at PNC, and I came to PNC a long time ago. And I've been there for a little while. Um, so I've been at PNC twice and BMY twice. Um, so I've been in banking for a long time. And I've had several positions within banking. My position I had prior to this was in technology. So the great thing about working in banking is you can work in a department for a year or two and may, you might want to change your career path. You can move to another department. One thing that I learned from Bill Demchak, our CEO, he said he had 70 positions before he got where he is today within banking. So Darcel, what do you enjoy about the position that you have now in finance? Um, I like to be able to um, work with our different vendors, making sure they're in compliance, and also to learn about the different vendors we have. So right now I work with over 40 engagements, so I get to learn a lot to see what they do and how they do. My line of business is human resources. So anytime we bring a tool in for professional development or mentoring, I get to learn about that um, relationship. So I get to touch a little bit of everything. What are some skills that make you particularly good at your job? I will say time management, able to pay attention to detail. Project management is very something that if someone's interested to look at. And um, also I would say being able to communicate well with your internal partners and external partners. Now, Darcel, you've been in banking a long time. Um, did anything surprise you about the world of banking that maybe you wouldn't have expected it when you were in high school? Um, I would have not expected us to have banks where there's no cash. That is something, if you would have told me that in high school, younger, I would never foresee that. But surprisingly, we have quite a few banks that have no cash. They're called cashless banks. You can go in to get a debit card. Anything you do in banking does not require you to get money. We have those banks, and I would have never thought that would happen. So, Darcel, if I'm in high school and I'm thinking about a career in finance, what are some questions that I can ask myself that will help me know if that's going to be a good fit for me? Well, the great thing about finance, it's a big department. Um, so think about it in, I'm in fine, anything that deals with money to the bank um, or to that company in finance. It may be um, purchasing something like your accounts payable. It could be retail, real estate. Um, and my department is vendors. Um, so what I would say, something that was really interesting to look at something like accounting, business management courses, um, and also business administration is a great way to learn more about finance and if that's what you want to go into. Darcel, do you have any advice that you would offer our students uh, who are interested in pursuing a career in finance? Yes, um, I'll give the advice someone gave me and I always make sure I pay attention to is I always show up and when I show up, I follow up. So if I meet five people, I'm going to follow up with those five people. Um, networking is so key and you'll be surprised how far that will get you to build your network. Um, I wish I would have built my network earlier, but I was able to still get a great network and that great network has got me where I am today, having a great mentor, um, an advisory group, and also people who invest in me. Mentoring is so important, and whether they get an informal mentor or a formal mentor, that's very critical. I stress having mentors. 
Yeah. Do you have any advice about how they should go about getting a mentor? Um, yes, um, there's a couple ways. There's a couple of mentoring programs out there that they can um, go through. If they're at their school, they can talk to their guidance counselor or they can look in their network or talk to their parents to see if they have someone they know will be a great mentor, someone that will challenge them and get them to the next step. If they're looking to get into banking, maybe talking to someone who works at a bank to see if they will be their mentor so they can get them in there and get, to, it helps open that door. Well, Darcel, this has been really helpful. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and experiences with us today. Thank you. For more information or to learn about other careers in the Career Journey series, visit our website and check back soon for our next installment. Thanks!